Well, since yesterday, od jučer, I've had many wonderful conversations about shoes. <laughs> Imao sam puno jako dobrih razgovora o cipelama. I've been treated to several pictures of food. Pokazali su mi nekoliko, poslužili su mi nekoliko slika hrane. So, uh, thank you for listening. Hvala što ste slušali. At least to the um, the illustrations. Barem ilustracije. But uh, let, let me repeat what the point was yesterday. No, dopustite da ponovim što je bila uh, osnovna pouka jučer. It was that um, if we're going to show ourselves to be mature Christians, kako bi pokazali da zapravo jesmo zreli učenici, kršćani, we're going to reveal the way uh, we believe by what we say and do. Otkrićemo ono što vjerujemo na način na koji govorimo i na koji se ponašamo. My speech is going to reveal what I think. Moj govor će razotkriti što razmišljam. The way I act toward you is going to reflect the way I think about other people. Način na koji se odnosim prema tebi otkriće način na koji ja razmišljam prema drugim ljudima. The way I love is going to reveal what motivates my life. Način na koji ljubimo otkriće što motivira pokriće moj život. What I, uh, ex- when I exercise faith it reveals what I really believe about God. Kada prikazujem vjeru zapravo prikazujem što stvarno vjerujem u Bogu. <clears throat> and my dedication to holiness and purity I moje says what I think about God's goal for my life. Posvećenje, predanost, čistoći i svetosti Božje pokazuje koje stvarno ciljeve imam u životu. God wants us to be an example. Bog želi da budemo primjer. Uh, not just to the world, <coughs> ne samo svijetu, but to each other. Već jedni drugima. It's wonderful to hear testimonies of what God has done in people's lives. Prekrasno je čuti svjedočanstva što je Bog učinio u životima drugih ljudi. How he has changed us. Kako nas je promijenio? Um, I, I really don't like to talk about my life before I became to Christ. Ne stvarno ne želim i ne volim govoriti o mom životu prije nego što sam došao u Kristu. Because I was a very bad man. Jer sam bio vrlo pokvaren čovjek and uh, did very bad things. I činio sam vrlo loše stvari. But God saved me. Ali Bog me spasio. And uh, immediately after I came to Christ. I trenutačno nakon što sam došao u Kristu. In the first Bible study I was in. Na prvom biblijskom proučavanju na kojem sam se nalazio. I gave my life to him to serve him forever. Predao sam mu svoj život da mu služim za uvijek. So I've been following the Lord for 44 years now. Već 44 godine slijedim Gospodina. And I'm still working on being like Christ. Još uvijek radim na tome da budem kao Krist. And I want to hit the gates of heaven. I želim proći kroz vrata neba. Full speed. Proletiti kroz njih u punoj brzini. Pursuing Jesus Christ. Nasljedujući Isusa Krista. Don't settle for anything less than that in your life. I nemojte se smiriti za ikoji manji cilj od toga. God wants us to come to him and then he wants us to be like Jesus Christ. Bog želi da dođemo k njemu i onda da budemo kao Isus Krist. You start when you come to Christ. Započinjete tako što dođete Kristu. And you don't stop. I onda ne zaustavljate se. You keep on the path. Nastavljate tim putem. I love this conference. Ja volim ovu konferenciju. Thank you brother for starting this. Hvala brate, se to počeo. I remember Bronco talking to me about this when he first God first put this idea on his heart. Sećam se kad je Branko razgovarao sa mnom o ovoj konferenciji, ne tom što mu je Bog stavio tu ideju u srce. It was a big step of faith. Bio to veliki iskorak vjere. And it's a lot of work every year for him svake godine jako puno posla oko toga. So, I know you all appreciate his, his faithfulness. I znam da svi cijenimo njegovu vjernost. The danger with a conference like this. Opasnost na ovakim konferencijama je is that we have a wonderful time of fellowship together. Jes da imamo prekrasno vrijeme zajedništva zajedno. We hear wonderful testimonies. Prekrasna svjedočanstva. We get inspired by the word. 
inspirirani smo pokrenuto smo riječju. And then we go back to normal life. I onda se vraćamo u normalan život. I have to tell you something. Moram vam reći nešto. This is normal life. Ovo je normalni život. So there shouldn't be any change when you go home. Ne bi trebalo biti nikakve promjene kad se vratite kući. You should keep the same intensity. Trebate zadržati isti uh, intenzitet. A focus on who Jesus is. Usredotočenja na ono tko je Isus Krist. And what he wants to do in your life. I na ono što on želi učiniti u vašem životu. Now this morning I want to talk about some things some other things that Paul says that we need to do to keep growing in Christ. Ovo jutro želim govoriti o nekim drugim stvarima koje je Pavao rekao da trebamo činiti kako bi rasli u Kristu. Yesterday I talked about that passage it just had five words a list of five words. Juče sam govorio o odlomku koji imao listu popis od pet riječi. And sometimes when you read through those lists when you're reading your Bible you just read them. I nekad kad čitate te popise samo ih pročitate. You don't take time to stop and think about each word. Možda ne uzimamo dovoljno vremena da stanemo i razmišljamo o svakoj pojedinoj riječi. And Paul has lots of lists all through his letters. A Pavo ima mnogo popisa u svim svojim pismama. Right? Zar nije tako? And I believe that every word is inspired by God. I vjerujem da je svaka riječ Bogom nadahnuta. So every word is to be considered. Svaka riječ je treba treba je pomno pogledati. <clears throat> Uh, almost 20 years ago um, my wife nearly died. Gotovo prije 20 godina moja supruga je skoro umrla. A blood vessel in her brain broke. Jedna jedan krvni sud u njeznom u njeznoj glavi je puknuo. They didn't expect her to live. Nisu očekivali da će preživjeti. And they and they told me if she does live she will never be able to do anything again. I rekli su mi ako će preživjeti više nikad neće ništa moći raditi. Well they were wrong. Bile su krivu. She lived, preživjela je. She's doing very well. I dobro je ide. But she has some little challenges, things that are difficult for her. No ima nekih malih izazova, stvari koje su je teške. So one of the things that she really does not like to do is go to the grocery store. Jedna od stvari koje stvarno na više ne voli ići u trgovinu. Now if you've ever been to a grocery store in America you can understand what the problem is. Ako ste kad bili u trgovačkim centrima u Americi onda znate koji je tu problem. Um, there are long aisles. Veliki redovi polica. You can hardly see the other end. Ne možete vidjeti drugi kraj. And there's stacks of things on both sides. I poredane su hrpe stvari na oba dvije strane. And on this one aisle i na tom jednom koridoru is only cereal. Su samo pahuljice. <laughs> so when my wife gives me a list, kada mi moja supruga da popis of things to get, stvari koje trebam kupiti, I want clear directions. Ja želim prave upute. Jasne upute. And understanding that I'm not very smart. I razumijevajući da baš nisam pametan. She makes the list very specific. Ona radi popis vrlo detaljan. For example, na primjer, three bananas. Tri banane. Four potatoes. Četiri krumpira. Red ones. Crvena. <laughs> About the size of a baseball. Poput one bejsbolske loptice. Really, things like that make it simple for me. Znači da bude za mene jednostavno. So, um, she, she gave me a list. I dala mi listu. And there were things on there. Tamo su bile neke stvari. And I looked at them and I understood all the, the list. I sve sam razumio. And uh, I, I meditated on it like Malo sam meditirao na tim, promišljao. Like we do on Paul's list because Kao na Paulovim popisima. I want to understand every word. Želim razumjeti svaku riječ. Every word is inspired by my wife. Svaku riječ je, nada, je nadahnuta mojim suprugom. So I took my list, I went to the grocery store. I sam uzeo popis, došao u trgovinu. I got three bananas. Imao sam, uzeo sam tri banane. I got the right number of the small red potatoes. Oh, uzeo sam uh, ispravan broj onih malih crvenih krumpira. And I get to the last thing on the list. I došao sam do zadnje stvari na popisu. 
And it was something she had added at the last minute. I u zadnjem, zadnjem trenutku ona je to nadodala. And it said, I rekla, sour cream. Uh, ovaj, uh, ja, ne znam to, da. <laughs> Kiselo vrhnje. I don't understand it. I didn't understand it either. <laughs> Yes, right. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of like things in the Bible. It was Kao there, I didn't Bibli. understand it. Tu su... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> tu su, ali ne razumijemo ih. So, I, I go, I finally had to ask someone, where is sour cream? Where is that? I morao sam konačno nekog doći pitati gdje je to kiselo mlijeko vrhnje. So I go to the place where there's sour cream. I onda je tamo bilo puno kiselog vrhnje. Okay, it's an area about Three meters across, znači, tri metra široka and about four levels high, i četiri razine visoka. All sour cream. Sve kiselo vrhnje. So I'm looking at this and there's many different companies that make sour cream. <laughs> I ono, postoje puno različitih kompanija koje to proizvode. And there are many different sizes of sour cream. I mnogo različitih uh, veličina. And, and there's regular sour cream. Onda ima obično kiselo vrhnje. And then there's low fat sour cream. I onda sa malom količinom masti. And then there's 2% sour cream. I onda ima 2% kiselo vrhnje. And then there's sour cream made from happy cows who live in California. I onda ima kiselo vrhnje od sretnih krava koji žive u Kaliforniji. <laughs> And then there's biodegradable green recyclable sour cream. <laughs> I onda ima neko reciklirano zeleno kis, uh, zdravo kiselo vrhnje. So um, I counted and I had something like 52 choices. Ima sam 52 izbora računao sam. And I thought okay. Rekao sam u redu. I got one chance in 52 of buying the right one. Imam jednu šansu od 52 pokušaja izabrati ispravno. So that was one choice. I to je bio jedan izbor. The second choice was just to buy one of each. E, drugi izbor je bio da kupim jednu od svakoga. And then she could, you know, pick. I ona ona može izabrati. And I could bring the rest back. Ja vam mogu ostatak vratiti natrag. So I thought, you know, God invented the cell phone for moments like this. I onda sam razmišljao, Bog je osmislio telefon, mobitel za trenutke poput ovoga. So I called my wife. I onda sam nazvao svoju suprugu. I said, "Hi." Rekao sam, "Pozdrav, hi." She says, "What's taking you so long?" I onda rekla, "Što te toliko dugo zadržava?" I said, "I'm faced with a great problem." Kaže, "Suočen sam sa velikim problemom." Which sour cream to buy. Koje kiselo vrhnje trebam kupiti? And I begin to tell her all the varieties and choices. I onda sam je počeo govoriti sve te varijante izbora. And she said, I ona rekla, I don't care. <laughs> Baš me briga. <clears throat> Unbelievable. Nevjerojatno. <laughs> It does make a difference when I come to the Bible that I understand exactly what God means. Donosi veliku razliku kad otvorim Bibliju i vidim što jasno Bog traži. Because he does care. Jer njemu je stalo. If if he didn't care, he wouldn't have put it in here. Da njemu nije stalo, on to ne bi stavio ovdje. So we're going to look at this passage it's in 2 Thessalonians. Pogledajmo odlomak u drugoj Solunjanima. Chapter 3. Treće poglavlje. Verses 1 through 5. Od 1 do 5. Now, one of the reasons I, I picked this was yeah. because Paul starts by saying, finally, brethren. Jedan od razloga zašto sam izabrao ovo je, jer Pavel kaže, nadalje ili konačno, braća. He often says this at the end of books. Obično to kaže na kraju poslanica. And he doesn't really mean, I'm finished. I zapravo ne kaže, ja sam tu završio. What he really means is Ono što stvarno on zna misli. Here's what I want you to have in your mind. Evo onoga što želim da imate u svojim umovima. Going forward. Idući naprijed. So finally is like um you 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 want to run in a race. znači nadalje od toga idemo naprijed. And you get in shape. Uh, I onda se dobro opremite. 
and, and you get the right shoes. I uzmete prave cipele. And you warm up. I zagrijete se. And finally, i konačno nadalje, you get to start the race. Krećete trku. Okay, so that's the kind of finally this is. Uh, I uh, to je ta riječ konačno. They translated here better. They said what? From here, from here on. Yeah, great. Finally, something's right in that translation. Konačno, konačno nešto ispravno u ovom prijevodu. So let's look at this. Pogledajmo sljedeće. Uh, finally brethren pray for us that the word of the Lord will spread rapidly and be glorified just as it did also with you. Nadalje molite braćo za nas da gospodnja riječ nastavi trčati i proslavljati se kao i kod vas. And that we will be rescued from perverse and evil men for not all have faith. I da se mi oslobodimo od pokvarenih i zli, zlih ljudi svi naime nemaju vjere. But the Lord is faithful. Gospodin je vjeran. And he will strengthen and protect you from the evil one. I on će vas ojačati i sačuvati od zloga. We have confidence in the Lord concerning you that you are doing and will continue to do what we command. Uvjereni smo u Gospodinu za vas i da činite i da ćete činiti ono što vam naređujemo. May the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God and into the steadfastness of Christ. I neka Gospodin upravlja vaša srca prema Božoj ljubavi i prema Kristovoj postojanosti. So there are some things here that we need to do if we're going to continue to grow in Jesus Christ. Postoje neke stvari koje trebamo učiniti ako želimo rasti u Kristu Isusu. And the first thing that I notice is that he says we should pray. I prva stvar koju vidim da on kaže jest da trebamo moliti. Anybody here believe in prayer? Da li ovdje netko vjeruje u molitvu? Okay, about a third of you, that's good. Trećina vas, to je dobro. <laughs> he he asks for prayer about two things, but he he's asking that we pray. On traži da se molimo oko dvije stvari, ali on traži da se molimo. It's interesting to me that the apostle Paul, zanimljivo je da apostol Pavao asks for prayer. Traži molitvu. He needs prayer. On treba molitve. And he prays for things like please pray for me that I'll be bold. I on kaže ovako molite za mene da budem odvažan. Paul needed prayer to be bold. Pavao je trebao molitvu da bude odvažan i hrabar. Doesn't that seem amazing to you? Zar to nije čudesno za vas? It's like me asking you to pray that I'll be good looking. To je kao da ja tražim vas da se molite da dobro izgledam. How ridiculous. Kako smiješno. And then you notice as you go through Paul's epistles that he's always talking about how he prays for people. I zapazit ćete dok idete kroz Pavlove poslanice da se on uvijek moli za ljude. He tells people I'm praying for you. On kaže ljudima ja se molim za vas. And he tells them what he's praying for them. I onda im kaže što konkretno moli za njih. I don't know about what happens in the church in Croatia all the time. Ja ne znam što se događa cijelo vrijeme u crkvi u Hrvatskoj. But there's a kind of a, a communication that goes on sometimes about prayer between believers. Ali ponekad je nekakva komunikacija koja se događa kad se radi o molitvi vjernika. Someone will come up to me. Neko će mi doći i reći. Say, I'm praying for you. Ja se molim za tebe. Well, what does that mean? A što to znači? <laughs> no, I'm afraid it does mean something usually. It means they don't like something I'm doing and they're hoping I'll change. Obično to znači da oni nešto ne vole što ja radim i da se oni nadaju da ću se ja promijeniti. But they I know some people when they say I'm praying for you, they're I know what they're praying for. I kad mi neki ljudi kažu znam, molim se za tebe, znam šta se mole. That I'll get a haircut. Da se ošišam. <laughs> Not going to happen. You might as well pray <laughs> about something else. But Paul tells people what he's praying about for them. Ali Pavao kaže ljudima što on moli za njih. He says, I, I, am, I am praying that you will know God better. On se moli da oni upoznaju Boga bolje. I'm praying that you will mature in Christ. Da ćete sazreti u Kristu. 
I'm praying that you will understand all the treasures that are in Jesus Christ for you. Ja se molim da razumijete sve to bogatstvo blago koje imate u Kristu Isusu. Do you pray for each other that way? Da li se vi molite jedni za druge na takav način? You can take the temp- the spiritual temperature of a group of people. Možete izmjeriti duhovnu temperaturu grupe ljudi by listening to their prayer requests. Tako što ćete slušati njihove molitvene zahtjeve. I have a Bible study that I've been reading for leading for a number of years. Imam jedno jednu biblijsku grupu koju vodim već dosta godina. And the prayer requests, molitvene potrebe sound like a medical convention. Uh, izgledaju kao medicinska konvencija. Oh, pray for my knee. O, oh, molite za moje koljeno. And and I got this bump on my shoulder. Please pray for that molite, bump on my shoulder. Molite, oh, za bol u ramenu. And and then you get way more details than you want about ja, some things. U mnoge detalje u vezi toga. I have this. <laughs> Imam nešto ovdje. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look through the New Testament and see if you see the same kind of prayer requests that you have in your church. Pogledajte da li u Novom Zavjetu imate iste molitvene zahtjeve potrebe kao u Novom kao u vašim crkvama. <clears throat> What are we focused on? Na čega smo usredotočeni? The glory of God? Na slavu Kristovu. Spiritual growth? Na duhovni rast. Or physical pleasures? Ili tjelesna zadovoljstva. Usually our prayers are obično su naše molitve. I have this problem. Imam taj problem. Please get me out of it. Molim te izvuci me iz toga. Paul says things like this. A Pavao kaže stvari poput toga. I rejoice in my tribulations. Ja se radujem u svojim nevoljama. Because they teach me perseverance. Jer me one uče ustrajnosti. Consider it all joy when you encounter various trials knowing the testing of your faith produces endurance. Smatrite potpunom radošću braću kad upadnete u različite nevolje, svjesni da nevolja stvara postojanost. So what do we pray about? Što mi molimo? Do we pray about growing our character? Da li mi molimo da Gospod raste u našem karakteru? Or is it only about our comfort? Ili da se molimo samo za naš komfort. Does being comfortable make you more like Christ? Da li to što ćete biti ležerni, ugodnije, se osjećati će vas učiniti sličnim Kristu? A number of times Paul says that we should be devoted to prayer. Mnogo puta Pavao kaže da trebamo biti posvećeni molitvi. Romans 12:12 for example. Rimljanima 12:12. It's a list of things that believers should do. Postoji popis stvari koje vjernici trebaju učiniti. Be devoted to prayer. Predani molitvi. That doesn't mean just persevere. To ne, ne znači samo ustrajati. Because devotion has the idea of love. Jer predanje ima ideju ljubavi u sebi. You know when when a young man and a young woman fall in love. Kada se mladić i djevojka zaljube. They're devoted to each other. Oni su predani jedno drugome. They want to be together. Oni žele biti zajedno. They don't say, "Oh, I have to go be with my girlfriend." Jo, mora mi će biti s turom, oni to ne kažu. I was just with her yesterday. Jo, bio sam s njom jučer. I guess I'll have to go be with her again. Mislim da će opet mora biti s njom i danas. No, devotion is something that comes from your heart. You want to be with that person. Predano znači željeti biti s tom osobom. In Colossians chapter 4. U Kolosanima 4. Starting in verse 2. U drugom redku. Which by the way is the very best lesson on evangelism in all the New Testament. Jedna od najboljih lekcija u cijelom Novom Zavjetu. It starts with be devoted to prayer. Kaže budite predani i ustrani u molitvi. You should love talking to your father. Trebali bi voljeti razgovarati sa svojim ocem. He loves you. On vas voli. Now, yesterday I, I quoted Psalm 139 verse 4. Znači, uče sam citirao Psalm 139 četvrti stih. Where David says, before any word comes out of my mouth, you know what I'm going to say, you know my thoughts. Gdje kaže David, prije nego što mi i, 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 
riječ na usta na jezik dođe ti već poznaš moje misli. And that's true. I to je istina. So when you pray, kada se molite, you're not suddenly giving God permission to know your thoughts. Vi ne dajete Bogu odjednom dopuštenje da zna vaše misli. Do you think that? Da li mislite tako? I'm thinking about something else. Mislim na nešto drugo. But now I'm going to give God permission to hear what I'm thinking. Ali sada ću dati do Bogu dopuštenje da čuje što ja razmišljam. Right? I I'm not going to say who this was because I didn't ask permission, but yesterday I'm talking to somebody. Juče sam razgovarao s nekim, nisam pitao dopuštenje, ali neću spominjati ko. And they were telling me about a difficult situation that they got in. I govorili su mi o teškoj situaciji u kojoj su ušli. And really uncomfortable and didn't know what to do. I nisu znali što činiti. And God got them out of the problem. I Bog ih je izveo iz toga problema. They said, I didn't even pray about it. Ali rekao, oni su rekli, čak nisam ni molio za to. Well, of course he prayed about it. Naravno da je molio. Jesus is in us. Isus u nama. He knows our thoughts. On zna naše misli. So that cry of desperation, I don't know what to do, is heard by God. Taj, taj vapaj očajanja, ne znam što učiniti, Bog je čuo. That's how you can pray without ceasing. Na takav način možete moliti bez prestanka. Every thought you have is open to God. Svaka misao koju imate otvorena pred Bogom. You might as well accept it. Trebate to prihvatiti. Embrace it. Prigolit. And be in constant communion with God. I biti u stalnoj komunikaciji s Bogom. But he also wants us to take time when we concentrate on him and only talk to him. Ali Bog također želi da imamo vrijeme gdje ćemo se potpuno posvetiti, usredotočiti na njega i razgovarati s njim. You cannot grow in Christ if you are not devoted to prayer. Ne možete rasti u Kristu ako niste posvećeni u molitvi. Devoted to prayer. Posvećeni predani u molitvi. I uh, I have had a lot of opportunities over the last few years to take the gospel into Muslim countries. Zadnjih nekoliko godina imao sam mnogo prigoda donijeti evanđelje u muslimanske zemlje. And I've talked to lots of Muslims. I razgovarao sam sa mnogim muslimanima. And I often ask them, well, how are, how are you doing in your practice of uh, Islam? I pitam ih kako ti ide tvoja praksa islama? Uh, do you read the Quran? Da li čitaš Kuran? Usually the answer is no. Obično odgovor je ne. I say do you pray five times a day? Da li se moliš pet puta na dan? Usually the answer is no. Obično odgovor je ne. And uh, so we have this little conversation and then to defend themselves they ask me. I onda da se oni obrane, oni mene pitaju. And I say, "Well, yeah, I read I read my scriptures all the time." I onda ja kažem, "Da, čitam svoju sveto pismo stalno." And I'll tell them honestly, I said, "I cannot remember the last time I only prayed five times in a day." I, 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 i stvarno se ne mogu sjećati zadnjeg trenutka kada sam molio samo pet puta na dan. Ja se molim Bogu stalno. On čuje moju svaku misao. Mislite da kad uđete u tu posebnu zgradu, u to posebno vrijeme da će vas tad Bog slušati. The rest of the time he's not paying any attention to you. A na ostalo vrijeme on ne obraća pozornost na vas. See, we can fall into thinking that way really. Mi možemo upasti da čak razmišljamo na takav način. Oh, you don't consciously believe that. Ne vjerujete to svjesno. But you act as if it's true. Ali se ponašate kao da je to istina. So a devotion to prayer is understanding you have a loving father. Posvećenost predanjem molitvi je razumijevanje da imate oca na nebu koji vas ljubi. Who cares about you every moment of every day koji se brine za vas, koji mu je stalo do vas svakog trenutka, svakog dana. Pogledajte za čega on moli, nekoliko stvari. Braćo, molite za nas da gospodnja riječ nastavi trčati i proslavljati se kao i kod vas. A number of times Paul asks for prayer as I said for boldness. Nekoliko puta Pavo traži molitvu za hrabrost. And also for clarity. I za čistoću, jasnost. 
Please pray for me that I will speak clearly. Molite za mene da jasno govorim. To say it simply, da kažem jednostavno. The gospel is not complicated. Evanđelje nije komplicirano. And then here he says, i ovdje kaže, pray that the message may spread rapidly. Da se to evanđelje može na snažan način nastaviti širiti. Now, I don't know what the to, translated. To uh, continue to run. Run, that's exactly right. To je ispravna riječ. That's the Greek word. To je grčka riječ. That the gospel would run. Da evanđelje nastavi trčati. Not crawl. Ne šepati. Not puzati. walk. Ne puzati, ne hodati. Certainly not sit. Ne sjediti svakako. Paul says we should have a sense of urgency about the gospel. Mi trebamo imati jedan osjećaj hitnosti u vezi evanđelja. You don't wait about things that are urgent. Vi ne čekate u stvari koje su hitne. You know, for example, if someone came up to you, kad bi vam neko došao and said, "Oh, say oh." I rekao, "Oh." Yeah. Uh, by the way, Uh, your trousers are on fire. Uh, usput, tvoje hlače su se zapalile. Oh, really? Oh, stvarno. Well, after lunch I'll have to do something about that. <laughs> Poslije ručka ću nešto napraviti u vezi toga. <laughs> Is the gospel the message of life? Da li je evanđelje poruka života? Is it? Zar nije? Do people need to hear the gospel? Zar ljudi ne trebaju čuti evanđelje? Do they need to hear it now? Da li ga trebaju čuti sada? Yeah, da. Paul says a very very interesting thing to Timothy in 2 Timothy the last chapter. Pavel kaže vrlo zanimljivu stvar Timoteju u zadnjem poglavlju druge Timoteja. By the way, how many of you uh, grow plants or know anything about growing plants. Koliko od vas zna nešto o rastu biljaka i i uzgaju biljke? Anybody? Raise your hands high. Dignite ruke. Okay, good. Um, here's what Paul says. Jeste što Pavao kaže. He says be ready to preach the gospel. Budite budi spreman propovijedati evanđelje. In season, u vrijeme and out of season. I u nevrijeme. Okay? You get it? Yeah. Razumijete. When do you plant tomatoes? Kada sijete paradajz? Ah. <laughs> you see Paul says uh, with the gospel you plant the seeds in December. Kaže Pavao sa evanđeljem sijete sjeme čak i u prosincu. Even when you know it's not the right season. Čak i onda kad znate da nije pravo godišnje doba za to. Because with the gospel there is no wrong season. Jer za evanđelja nema krivo vrijeme. I've had people come to me and say uh, I have this friend and uh, you know he's lost. I ljudi su mi došli i rekli čujem ovog prijatelja on je izgubljen. And, and I want to tell him the gospel. I želim mu reći evanđelje. But I don't know if he's ready. Ali ja ne znam da li on spreman. I said, uh, I can tell you how to find out if he's ready. Uh, sigurno imam način na koji ćeš saznati da li on spreman. Tell them the gospel already. Recimo već konačno evanđelje. Right? Zar nije tako? I can't tell by looking at somebody on the outside whether they're ready or not. Ja ne mogu reći nekome tako što ga samo promatram izvana da li je spreman ili nije. You know there's like a little light bulb on their forehead that begins to glow when they're ready. Znači da li imaju nekako onako svjetiljku na čelu koja počinje svjetliti kad budu spremni. And I never know I never know what part I'm taking in a person's movement toward Christ. Ja ne znam nikad koji dio ja u koji dio ja ulažem pomičući osobu prema Kristu. Almost exactly a year ago, right now. godinu dana. Uh, we've been doing a lot of work in China. 
Radili smo puno u Kini. And uh, it's hard to witness to Chinese people in China to some of them. I teško je svjedočiti nekima u Kini koji su tamo. Because they're protected by the government and by communist people. Jer komunisti vlada ih štiti. So we invited uh, an orchestra from China to come to America to do a tour. I pozvali smo jedan orkestar iz Kine u Ameriku da na jednu turneju. And the whole purpose was to talk to them about Christ where nobody could stop us. I cijela ideja je da govorimo im o Kristu kada nas niko ne može zaustaviti. And uh, the the lady who was leading the orchestra was the president of the university. I gospođa koja je vodila te orkestar, predsjednica sveučilišta. Had a nephew who was living in the United States. Ima nečaka koji živi u Americi. And he came uh, to one of the concerts. I on je došao na jedan od tih koncerata. And he and he was very nice man. I on je vrlo ljubazan čovjek bio. And uh, after the concert he and I were talking. I nakon koncerta on ja smo razgovarali. And I'm being careful because uh, it's kind of a delicate balance to have with these communist groups if we want to continue to have a relationship with them. I, I ako želimo imati nastaviti odnos onda moramo paziti kako se pristupiti njima. So this this guy whose motives I don't know. I taj čovjek čije motive ne znam. Is talking to me. I on razgovara sa mnom. He says, "Oh, so I think you all are Christians, aren't you?" I on kaže, "Ja mislim da ste vi kršćani, zar niste?" And that's why you've invited my aunt and all these people. I zato ste pozvali moju tetu i sve te ljude u Ameriku. And I'm thinking, "Okay, what is this guy up to?" Ja se pitam, šta sad on tu smjera? And so I'm I say well yes da. there There are many Christians in America. Da, postoje puno kršćana u Americi. <laughs> And um, I started uh, asking uh, God what I should say. I počeo sam pitati Gospoda što trebam reći. Which was really profoundly stupid. Što je bilo stvarno glupo. That I should at that moment have to pray about what to do da u tom trenutku, trenutku trebam moliti što trebam reći. You probably know this joke. Znate tu šalu. If you take a missionary, ako imate misionara and a businessman, i biznismena and you throw them off of a cliff at the same time. I bacite ih u isto vrijeme sa stijene. Which one hits the ground first? Koji će pogoditi zemlju prvi? The businessman. Businessman. Because the missionary has to stop and pray for direction. <laughs> Jer se misionar treba zaustaviti i moliti za pravi smjer. So I began to uh, talk to this guy his name was Sun Hao. I počeo sam razgovarati s tom čovjekom koji se zove Sun Hao. And I believe that he was really genuinely searching for God. Ja znam da on stvarno iskreno traži Boga. He had a hunger in his heart. Imao je glad u svome srcu. And he had lots of questions. Imao je puno pitanja. So I talked to him for about two hours. I razgovarao sam s njim oko dva sata. I gave him a Bible. Dao sam mu Bibliju. I gave him some other piece of literature I had in Chinese. Znači dao sam mu još jedan dio literature koji sam imao na kineskom. And he went away and I didn't see him again. I otišao i više ga nisam vidio. Um, this past year in November Prošle godine u novembru I got an email from him. Dobio sam email od njega. And he said, "Dear Mr. Bowers." I piše tamo, "Dragi gospodine Bowers." I thought you might want to know. Mislio sam da vas zanima. The last Sunday I was baptized. Da sam prošle nedjelje bio kršten. Thank you for helping me get started. Hvala vam što ste mi pomogli početi. See, I just have to be available for however God wants to use me at a particular moment. Ja trebam samo biti spreman Bogu na raspolaganju da me on koristi u tom trenutku. Just there for a little bit of time in this man's life. Samo bio sam tamo za, za mali trenutak u životu tog čovjeka. So Paul says we need an urgency for the gospel. Pao kaže evanđelje trebamo hitno navještati. And for its glory says it spread rapidly and be honored because the gospel produces fruit. Uh, da nastavi trčati i proslavljati se kod vas 
Jer evanđelje donosi plod. He says, just as it was with you. Kao što je bilo kod vas. It's a reminder. To je podsjetnik. Hey, you became a Christian. Vi ste postali kršćani. Didn't you? Zar niste? So why would other people become Christians? I onda zašto i drugi ne bi postali kršćani? I mean, we've we've got so many wonderful stories in here about how we came to Christ. Imamo ovdje prekrasnih priča kako smo došli Kristu. Todd Dick became a Christian listen to the radio. Tog Dick je postao kršćanin tako što je slušao radio. How does that work? Kako to djeluje? He can't be a real Christian. He can't come be a Christian and listen to the radio. Ne može on biti pravi kršćanin pa samo sluša radio. A guy that's in our ministry, some of you know uh, Todd Smalley, trombone player. Uh, Tom uh, Smalley, uh, ja na našem timu, što he svira beca- trombon. He became a Christian in a hotel room. On je postao kršćanin u hotelskoj sobi. Reading the Gideon's Bible. Tako što je čitao Gideonsku Bibliju. But somebody had to go put that Gideon's Bible in that hotel room. Al netko je trebao doći staviti Gideonsku Bibliju u taj hotel. I love hearing the, the story about the uh, every home crusade. Uh, volim čuti priče o evanđelju svaki dom. I have a friend in Holland named Jan de Nalden. Jan de Nalden, prijatelj mi je iz Nizozemske. His testimony is that he was very very depressed, he was ready to give up on life. Uh, njegovo je svjedočanstvo bilo da je on vrlo bio depresivan, ti odustati od života. He walked out on the beach and he lived in the Netherlands. Netherlands. No, živio je na u Nizozemskoj, otišao na obalu. He was looking down at the ground. Gledao je u zemlju. Saying what what is life about? Why am I here? I pitao se zašto ja postojim? U čemu se radi u tvom životu? Ima li smisla? And there was a little piece of paper sticking out of the sand. I jedan mali komadić papira je virio iz pijeska. And he picked it up. I uzeo je. And he dusted it off. I maknuo pijesak. And it was a gospel pamphlet. I to bio evanđelj, uh, jedan traktat evanđelski. And he came to Christ right there. I došao je Krist upravo tu. Now he's in the ministry full time. I sada je on puno vremena u službi. Leading people to Christ. On vodi ljude druge Kristu. See whatever God gives you to do, do it. Što god vam Bog stavi na srce da činite, učinite to. Don't delay. Nemojte okljevati, odgađati. Don't put it off. Nemojte to stavljati po stranu. Have a sense of urgency. Imajte osjećaj hitnosti. He also asks for prayer. The next thing is about uh, spiritual warfare. I onda sljedeće moli za duhovno ratovanje. He says pray that we may be delivered from wicked and evil people for not everyone has faith. Kaže moli da se oslobodimo od pokvarenih zlih ljudi jer svi najme nemaju vjere. Now listen, you you may not feel in danger personally. Možda se vi ne osjećate osobno ugroženi. But our brother Amir here is in real danger. Ali ja, naš brat Amir je u stvarnoj opasnosti. And people who are coming out of Muslim background come to faith are in real danger. I ljudi koji se obraćaju iz muslimanske pozadine su stvarne opasnosti. We need to pray for them to be delivered from evil and wicked people. Mi se moramo moliti za njih da budu oslobođeni od zlih i pokvarenih ljudi. You heard about the Coptic Christians who were just killed a large group in in Libya. Čuli ste nedavno o grupi koptičkih kršćana koji su ubijeni u u Libiji. You know they were given a choice. Znate da im je dan izbor. They're given a choice of becoming Muslims or dying. Da li će postati muslimani ili će umrijeti. So there are wicked evil people. Postoje zli pokoreni ljudi. And then he goes on and he talks about uh, but the Lord is faithful. Ali gospodin je vjeran. And he will strengthen and protect you from the evil one. I on će vas ojačati i sačuvati od zloga. The devil can't touch us. Sotona nas ne može dotaknuti. The worst the devil can do is send you home. Najgore što vas Sotona može napraviti je poslati vas kući. I just read a testimony about a, a Muslim man in um, Uzbekistan. Čitao sam svjedočanstvo muslimanu jednom čovjeku koji je živio u Uzbekistanu. He said when we're persecuted we thank God we weren't beaten. Kada smo bili progonjeni zahvaljivali smo Bogu jer nismo tučeni. When we're beaten we thank we weren't put in jail. Kada smo bili pretučeni zahvaljivali smo jer nismo stavljeni u zatvor. When we're put in jail we're thankful we weren't killed. Kada smo stavljeni u zatvor zahvaljivali smo jer nismo ubijeni. When we're killed we're thankful to be home. Kada smo ubijeni zahvaljivali smo jer smo kod kuće. We were in China. Bili smo u Kini. And we were meeting with house pastors, pastors of house churches. I susreli smo pastore kućnih crkava. 
And one of the people in our group jedan od ljudi u našoj grupi said to this group of uh, house pastors on je smjestio tu grupu pastora kućnih crkava we're praying for you that you won't have persecution anymore i on je molio da više nema bude ne bude prokonstva he said oh please don't pray for that i oni su rekli molim te nemoj molit za to pray that we'll have strength moli da imamo snagu see i expect there to be spiritual warfare Očekujem da će biti duhovna bitka. If you are going to represent Jesus Christ, there's going to be conflict. Ako ćete predstavljati Isusa Krista, biti će sukoba. It's unavoidable. Neizbježno je. Unless of course you're not doing anything. Osim ako ništa ne činite. If you're not doing anything, the devil will leave you alone. Ako ništa ne činite, onda će vas otona ostaviti na miru. You know when there's a war, kad je rat, uh, you're not worried about the people who have deserted the army. <laughs> ne brinu vas ljudi koji su dezertirali vojsku. You're only worried about the people that are fighting. Brinete se za one koji su u bici. So if your goal is to avoid conflict, ako je vaš cilj izbjeći sukob, you just have to be disobedient. Jednostavno budite neposlušni. There you go. Evo tu je. Forget about evangelism. Zaboravite evangelizaciju. And then you know the devil will leave you alone and you can just live a boring life. Sotona će vas ostaviti, živjeti ćete dosadan život. But if you're going to be involved in God's kingdom, ali ako želite sudjelovati u Božjem kraljevstvu, you're following someone who's already won. Sjedite onoga koji je već pobijedio. But don't be surprised when there's conflict. Al nemojte biti iznenađeni kad dođu borbe. Okay, you with me on this? Sjedite me. Come on, this is great news. Oh, je dobra vijest. Man, to get to stand for Jesus Christ, what could be better than that? Da stanete čvrsto za Isusa Krista, zar postoji nešto bolje od toga? Um, yeah, I'm not sure what else I should say about that, but <laughs> I, I told Amir, I said, brother, do you realize that you are a result of the prayers of millions of Christians? Rekao sam bratu Almiru, brate, znaš da si ti plod molitve miliona kršćana? For centuries, Christians have been praying for Muslims. Kršćani se stoljećima mole za muslimane. And by the way, just in case you didn't know this, možda ako niste znali, God loves Muslims. Bog voli muslimane. Now he doesn't like Islam. On ne voli Islam. Islam is a lie. Islam je laž. And it's a prison. I zatvor je. If you went to a prison, ako ste ušli u zatvor, where people were held inside, gdje su ljudi zadržani unutra, would you hate the prisoners? Da li ćete mrziti te zatvorenike? No. Ne. You love the prisoners. Volite zatvorenike. You hate the prison. Mrzite zatvor. So that's the way we have that's the attitude that we have to have. To je stav kojeg trebamo imati. Okay. Paul says another really interesting thing here. Pavel kaže još jednu zanimljivu stvar ovdje. And somebody referred to this earlier today, I can't remember who it was. I netko je to ranije spomenuo. Verse 4, četvrti redak. Paul says, "We have confidence in the Lord that you are doing and will continue to do the things we command." Uvjereni smo u Gospodinu za vas i da činite i da ćete nastaviti činiti ono što vam naređujemo. You know what Paul is saying here? Znate što Pavel ovdje kaže? I have faith in God. Ja imam vjeru u Boga. I believe that God is powerful. Vjerujem da je Bog moćan. He is so powerful that he can even work in your life. On je toliko moćan da on može čak raditi i u vašim životima. Wow. Wow. I can trust the Holy Spirit working in you. Ja mogu imati povjerenje da će Duh Sveti djelovati i raditi u tvom životu. In fact, I expect you to do the right thing. Ja očekujem da ćete činiti ispravne stvari. You ever notice that people tend to rise themselves to your expectations? Uh, da li imate iskustvo da se ljudi povise i podignu na razinu vašeg očekivanja? If you believe in somebody, they tend to okay, I'm going to Ako vjerujete u nekoga, on će se po, počet ponašati u skladu s vašim očekivanjima. And it's a principle that's in the word of God. I to je princip koji se nalazi u riječi Božjoj. Uh, Paul says to the Philippians. Pavel kaže Filipljanima. 
He says, um, uh, you know, I, I know that God is at work in you both to do and to will his good pleasure. Ja znam da Bog djeluje u vama da da stvara htjenje i djelovanje da da mu se možete svidjeti. And I expect you to obey. Ja očekujem da slušate. Not just when I come. I ne samo kad sam ja tamo. Not just when I show up. Ne samo kad se pojavim. You know, suddenly, oh, Paul's coming. I kažu, e, Pavao stiže. We have to be good now. Sad moram biti dobar. You know, never mind God was here the whole time. Nema veze što je Bog bio ovdje cijelo vrijeme. And he knows the secrets of my heart. I on zna tajne moga srca. Now Paul's coming. Ali sad Pavao dolazi. Ooh. Big deal. Ja <laughs> velika yeah. stvar. No. His expectation is that because Jesus Christ is in their lives and the Holy Spirit in his life, that they are going to be doing the right thing. On ima očekivanje zato što Bog djeluje u njihovim srcima i Duh Sveti je prisutan u njihovim životima da će oni činiti i vršiti ispravnu stvar. Boy, that's a great encouragement, isn't it? I to je veliko ohrabrenje, zar ne? So, should we expect that from each other? Zar to ne bi trebali očekivati jedni od drugih? Should we positively encourage people? Zar ne bi pozitivno trebali ohrabrivati ljude? What do you think? Što mislite? What do you think? You think it's you should expect that? Do you? Bronco, you think? You think you should expect that? You, what about what about these young people that are Što like mladim ljudima? Less than 35 years of age. Should we expect that they will Mlađim step up? 35 godina. Da li možemo očekivati da će oni iskoračiti? What do you think? Should Što we expect that? From da li bi trebali to očekivati? Or do we expect them to fail? Ili ćemo očekivati da propadnu? Ah, oh, those young kids today, they're not like we were. Ne, ti mladi nisu kao i mi. We're tough. Mi smo oni jaki. We grew up under communism. Mi smo odrasli tijekom komunizma. Well, when I was young, e, kad sam bio mlad, we didn't have chicken every day. Mi smo jeli piletinu svaki dan. We didn't have electricity every day. Mi smo imali struju svaki dan. You, you young people are soft. Mladići su mladi su mekani. That's encouraging, isn't it? To je ohrabrujuće, zar ne? I knew you were going to fail. I knew it. Znao sam da ćeš pasti. Oh boy. Oh. Or like Paul do we say, you know? Ili kao što Pavao kaže. I expect you to be like Jesus Christ. Ja očekujem da ćete biti poput Isusa Krista. I have confidence that you are going to follow him. Imam povjerenje da ćete ga slijediti. I'm excited about your future. Uzbuđen sam kad razmišljam o vašoj budućnosti. I believe that God is going to use you in amazing ways. Vjerujem da će vas Bog koristiti na nevjerojatan način. Ways you can't even imagine right now. Način na koji ne možeš ni sanjati sada. You hear me all you young bucks out there? Jel vi čujete me svi vi mladi? God is raising up a generation of new leaders in this country. Bog podiže generaciju novih vođa u ovoj zemlji. You're going to have new challenges. Imati ćete nove izazove. You're going to have new things to trust God for. Nove stvari koje trebate iskoračiti u vjeri s Bogom. You're going to have to discover new ways to touch people with the gospel. Treba ćete otkriti nove načine kako dotaknuti druge s evanđeljem. So what do we say? Do we believe in them or not? Da li vjerujemo u njih ili ne? Yes. Da bude veće sluge nego mi. But see, that's not saying much. To be greater than you is it's not much. Nije baš neko veliko postignuće. We Yeah, we'll start with that. Yeah. S time ćemo barem početi. We hope that they will get up to your level. Da će doći na tvoju razinu. And then pass you. I onda ići dalje. Yes. Yeah. <coughs> Listen, brother. We, we we understand each other. My life verse is uh, in uh, Proverbs. Uh, moj životni stih je u izrekama. It says, "Surely I am more stupid than any man." Uh, kaže, svakako uh, luđi sam od svih ljudi. Yeah. So, yes. Th- this is a principle that God wants us to put that we have a level of expectation based on faith. To je princip kojeg Bog ima za nas da imamo razinu očekivanja temeljenu na vjeri. That Jesus Christ is going to work in your life. Da će Isus Krist djelovati i raditi u tvom životu. It's a faith statement. To je izjava vjere. Because it's the power of God. Zbog sile i snage Božje. Remember he loves to use zeros. 
Sjećate se, on voli koristiti ništice. He prefers empty cups. On voli više koristiti prazne čaše. The more empty you are, što ste prazni, the bigger loser you are, što ste veći gubitnik, the more glory God gets. Sve, sve više slave Bog dobiva. See, the devil gets all these really talented, wonderful people. Đavo dobiva sve te talentirane ljude. Can you imagine, you know, the devil shows up? I zamislite Đavo se pojavi. And he says, let's have a contest. I, idemo napraviti natjecanje. Um, I'm bringing um, Michael Jordan. Ja ću dovesti Michael Jordana. And um, who's who's your favorite uh, footballer these days? Ko je slavni nogometaš? Messi. Messi. Okay. The devil comes. I don't I don't know if Messi is a Christian or not, so I'm not trying to Znači, ne znam da li Messi kršćan ili nije. Maybe he is, but možda je. Let's just say that, you know, he he brings Uh, Michael Jordan, you know who Michael Jordan is, right? Okay. Not the Michael Jordan, ako šerkaši. Yeah. Michael Jordan and Messi and Devil says, "Here's my t- here's my team." I evo mog tima. And and he says to God, "What do you got?" Ali kaže Bogu, "Šta ti imaš?" And he says, "I got uh, Todd Dick and John Bowers." I imam Todd Dick and John Bowers. And the devil says, a Java kaže. <laughs> and then, i tada, the devil can't believe that Todd and I win. E Java ne može vjerovati da smo to ja pobijedili. Because he fills us with power. Jer nas ispuni silom. And he gets the glory. I on dobije slavu. Because he uses a couple of losers to win. Jer je upotrijebio nekolicinu gubitnika da pobjede. Glory to God. Slava Bogu. I'm so happy to be a loser for Jesus Christ. Toliko sam sretan da budem gubitnik za Isusa Krista. And then he ends up by saying this. I onda na kraju završi. That's he wants us to have a heart that that grows in Christ. Da želi da imamo srca koja raste u Kristu that we persevere da ustrajemo kristovoj postojnosti god wants us to be on a path all through our christian lives of becoming more like him bog želi da na cijelom našem putu kršćanskog života postajemo slični njemu what does paul say in philippians što pavao kaže u filipijanima i have one goal kaže imam jedan cilj and i have hundreds of goals not hundreds of goals. Nam ciljeva. Not a handful of goals. Ne šaku ciljeva. Not three goals. Ne tri cilja. Not two goals. Ne dva cilja. I have one goal. Jedan cilj. One. Jedan. To press on to be like Jesus Christ. Da nastavim biti poput Isus. See, it's very confusing when you have too many goals. Vrlo je zbunjujuće kad imate mnoštvo ciljeva. See, which do, which do I do first? Koji ću prvi? If I have one main thing that I do, ako imam jednu glavnu važnu stvar koju trebam činiti, then everything else in my life serves that goal. Tada sve drugo u mom životu služi tom cilju. Doesn't get in the way of that goal. Ne ne smeta tom cilju. If it gets in the way of that goal, ako dolazi ispred tog cilja, it goes out of my life. Onda ide iz mog života. If it helps me get to that goal, ako mi pomaže da ispunim taj cilj, I can use it. Mogu to koristiti. But not as a thing in itself. Ali ne samo kao stvar u sebi. I press on to the goal of knowing Jesus Christ. Ja nastavljam dalje, napredujem sa tim ciljem da postanem kao Isus Krist. One of the one of the great battles we face is being distracted. Jedan od velikih bitaka koju mi imamo jest da smo ometani. Um, there's a there's a funny uh, a cartoon movie. Postoji jedan smiješan crtić. Uh, I think it's called Up or something like that. Up. Anybody seen this about the old man and he ties all these balloons to his house? Znači, starcu koji je zavezao sve balone u okay. svoju kuću. There's like three or four young people my mental capacity who also love this movie. Znači, <laughs> dvoje, troje mladih moje mentalne sposobnosti koje voli taj. But what's funny is they, they get to this place where there are these this is pack of dogs. Znači, hrpa pasa. 
And they have these little collars around. Imaju uh, oglice oko rata. That can read the dog's mind. Koje mogu čitati misli tih pasa. So you can hear what the dog is thinking. Tako da možete čuti što uh, psi govore, razmišljaju. Yeah. And there's one dog in there. Jedan pas je među njima. That's like a lot of dogs. Kao i mnogi psi. And he's easily distracted. I njega jako lako stvari ometu. And he loves to chase squirrels. I on voli uh, loviti vjeverice. So you're talking to him. I onda razgovarate s njim. And he's talking to you. I on razgovara s vama. Squirrel. Vjeverica. Oh, and then he goes back to talking to you. Squirrel. I onda opet. You're not doing the turn. Squirrel. <laughs> ja se ne okrećem. Come on. Squirrel. <laughs> Vjeverica. Yeah. <laughs> So he can't keep on traveling. Oh, squirrel, oh, there's a squirrel. I ne oh. može se usredotočiti stalno misli na vjeverice. Let's see, where was I? What was I talking? Yes, samo, čemu sam raz. Eno je tamo. Well, it's funny when dogs are like that. Znači smiješno kad su psi takvi. It's not funny when people are like that. Ali nije smiješno kad su ljudi takvi. Especially as believers. Posebno kao vjernici. We can't focus on what we're supposed to do. Ne možemo se usredotočiti na ono što trebamo raditi. Because we're distracted. Jer smo ometani. I want you to imagine for a moment. Želim da zamislite jedan trenutak. A scene. Scenu. Where all the disciples had cell phones. Kada su svi učenici imali mobitele. Okay. Hey Andrew. Hey Andrew. Come here, look at this. Pogledaj ovo. Is that funny or what? Zar nije to smiješno, zar ne? Yeah. Hey, you know, I got some video of uh, Jesus feeding the 5000. Imam video Isus kako hrani 5000 ljudi. I put it on Facebook. Stavio sam na Facebook. I have uh, 10322 likes. Znači imam 10323 lajka. Amazing, huh? Ah, zar nije super? That's cool. Cool. I can't believe none of us got a video of him walking on the water. Ja ne mogu vjerovati da nikoga nije snimio kako hoda po vodi. If we to put that on YouTube. Kad bi to stavili na YouTube. He would have gone viral. <laughs> Are you getting an education here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a Facebook person, sorry. <laughs> well, I know why I didn't get it on video. I was bailing out the boat. We were about to drown. Znači, ja znam zašto nisam snimio, jer sam vadio vodu iz čamca. And Peter, his battery was dead as usual. A njegova, Petrova baterija je bila ispražnjena, kao obično. Oh, hey, did you see this one? Ja vidiš ovaj. This four Samaritans. Znači, četiri Samarijanca. And they have this donkey. Imaju tog magarca. And they, they have an argument about who gets to ride on it. I onda se svađaju ko će jahati na magarcu. And, and they end up hurting the donkey. I onda su ozlijedili magarca. <laughs> so this is great. <laughs> to je super. <laughs> There's four Samaritans carrying a donkey. <laughs> znači, četiri Samarijanca nose magarca. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Yeah, it's funny. Hey John, come look at this. Dođi, pogledaj Ivane. Yeah. What? Show it to Jesus? Da pokažemo Isusu. Uh, I don't know about that. Ne znam baš šta. Ne znam da li ćemo to napraviti. Uh, you know, he just, uh, I don't know. Uh, what? Oh yeah, speaking of Jesus, where did he go? Ali gdje je Isus sada? He was here a minute ago. Bi je tu prije minutu. Maybe we can uh, text him. And... Možemo, možemo poslati poruku. <laughs> See, you can be so distracted, you're not paying attention to what's important. Znači, možete biti toliko ometani da, da ne, paži, na, ne pazite ono što je bitno. And it's the cares of life. I to su brige života. You can get so caught up in just what you're doing every day. Toliko vas može obuhvatiti ono što radite svaki dan. You forget who you're following. Da zaboravite koga slijedite. Where did he go? Gdje on otišao? So Paul says to the Thessalonians and to us. Pavel kaže Solunjanima i nama. May the Lord direct your hearts into God's love. Neka vas Gospodin usmjeri vaša srca prema Božoj ljubavi. And the perseverance of Christ. I Kristovoj postojanosti.
Any questions? Da li ima kakvih pitanja? Anything hard to understand about this passage? Nešto što je teško razumjeti u vezi ovog odlomka. Good. Dobro. I expect you all to be obedient. Očekujem da svi budete poslušni. I expect you all to grow in Christ. Očekujem da ćete svi rasti u Kristu. To be devoted to prayer. Da ćete biti predani molitvi. To have a sense of urgency. Da imate jedan osjećaj hitnosti u širenju evanđelja. To pursue holiness. Da da nastavite u rastu svetosti. To guard your speech. Da čuvate vaš govor. Your thoughts. Vaše misli. And become more and more like Christ. Da postanete što slični Isusu.